In this video, we introduce our work Visual Semantic Planning using deep successor representations. Given a task and an initial configuration of a scene, our goal is to learn a sequence of actions to complete this task. We explore complex, multi-step tasks such as finding a bowl in a kitchen and putting it in the microwave. We extend the AI2 Thor framework to enable rich interactions with objects. Our agent can interact with the environment via seven high-level actions. Some actions take arguments of either a location or an object. These actions are navigate to a point, look up and look down, open or close a container, pick up an item, and put an item down in or on a receptacle. Given the agent's visual observation and internal state, our goal is to produce a plan that results in the completion of a task. Our model generates these plans by estimating the Q value, or the expected value of future rewards, for each action. We use the successor representation to decouple environment dynamics and reward functions. This decoupling enables task transfer. When adapting a trained network to a new task, we simply retrain the reward predictor while fixing the successor features that summarize the dynamics. Now, we show qualitative results of our method as well as several baselines. We evaluate our method on three levels of difficulty. Difficulty is based on the length of the optimal plan and the amount of randomization. These tasks involve changing object states, collecting objects from multiple locations, and finding an object in a random location and bringing it to a receptacle. Here, we show all models attempting a hard task of searching for lettuce in the scene and putting it on the table. Compared to the baseline methods, our model is able to complete the task with the fewest steps. In the medium difficulty task, an agent must collect several objects from multiple locations and bring them to a pre-specified final location. In the easiest task, the agent must navigate to a target location and open or close a specific door. Our successor representation lets us transfer to new tasks quickly by only retraining the reward predictor. Here, we provide an example of policy transfer. In the original task, we trained our model to find a bowl and put it in the sink. When transferring the policy, we retrain the model to search for an egg and put it in the sink. We compare training the reward vector with training the entire network from scratch. Given the same amount of training data, our model can adapt to the new task with a much higher sample efficiency. For quantitative evaluations, please refer to our paper.